So in this video I'll go over the Photoshop aspect of recreating the Uncharted 3 journal. So I've got all of my still images that I took from the journal in the game. Uh, I took them in a late chapter, I think it was chapter 21, because then obviously the journal would be complete. Um, my computer is so slow. Right, um, in addition to the still images I also took a movie. Now, I did that so I would always have a reference for the page order and also on the right hand pages Nate's thumb and forefinger always obscures part of the illustration. So at least if you've got a video you can um, pause it in the right place um, and then you'll be able to see what's normally hidden. So. To go ahead and edit a page, um, we'll do page 33, which is a fairly simple page. I have already completed it, but I'll just go through it with you. So you want to open up the raw file in Photoshop. And um, what we want to achieve in Photoshop is A, to make the page the correct size for the physical journal, and B, to change the rotation and perspective. So to start off with, I'll change the rotation. Now it's about 6.7 degrees counterclockwise every time because we're using the centre of the page as reference. So go ahead and rotate it and then once you've done that you want to crop it. So crop it as close as possible to the edges of the page. Looks about right. That's it. So now it's cropped, we want to change its size. So what I did initially was I measured um, the pages in the sketchbook that I've bought and then I created um, a document in Photoshop of equal size and then transfer the page that I'm editing into that new document. But to be honest, now I've done quite a few pages, I would just um, open up an older page, delete it out and then drag and drop it into the file. So the next thing to do is to resize it. I always do it freehand but I mean arguably you could just enter the dimensions up here but depending on how you've cropped it to start with you're always going to have to do some sort of manual adjustment. So I normally just cut out the middle one as it were and do it manually to start with. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So the last thing that we need to do is to change the perspective. So to do that just use um, the free transform tool and skew. So we want to pull it up Seen that a bit. I've forgot what it is, there we go. And up again. That's it. So on a lot of the pages that would be all the steps that you needed to do, but on this one, because this illustration is drawn quite close to the centre of the page, um, you, you can see that the illustration is slightly curved because it's following the contour of the page. So if we were to leave it like that, we would transfer that curve into the journal. So I normally correct it by just doing a rough freehand selection. And then transform that using warp. Just to stretch it out a bit and reduce the appearance of that curve. There's probably a much better, easier way to do it than this, but I'm not particularly proficient in Photoshop. I pretty much just muddle my way through it every time. That's it. So if you have do have any suggestions for an easy way to do this, then please feel free to suggest it. It will help others. I mean, I've already finished, but it will help others if they're interested in doing it. So once you've done that, deselect it, and then it's pretty much ready. It doesn't matter if it's moved because you're not interested in the background, you just want the picture. So now you've done that, save it, 
I would save it as the page number because then you've got an easy reference and then you want to print it out. Now when you print it, make sure you don't scale it in any way, you want it to be the same size as the document because if you did scale it you wouldn't be um, the right size then for the journal. So go ahead and print it and then in my second video I will show you the carbon copy process and also finishing off the page by hand in whatever media um, you're going to use.